everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2019 movie Dumbo. Um, the movie is directed by Tim Burton and written by Aaron Kruger, and this is a live-action remake of the animated classic, and it's not really that much like the original. It does have like the same, some of the same things in it and everything. It like keeps some of the most important parts of it, but for the most part, it's a different movie and everything which I, I, I like a lot about that kind of like with the Jungle Book I like that they changed it up a lot and everything um, this version follows the Farrier family who's uh, living in this circus and everything the ringmaster is uh, named Max he, uh, he lets them live with him and everything and they uh, the their mother, or the mother of the family, had passed away while the dad was in war, in the uh, First World War, and everything, and he lost his arm, so he, he's trying to, to put pieces back together of his family and stuff, and uh, they had to sell the horses that he used in his act because of hard times and everything, and he, uh, gets put in charge of taking care of the elephants and everything and this new mama elephant that was just bought had just had a baby uh, they called the baby Jumbo Jr. and it has this these really big ears and everything and of course he gets made fun of and gets the nickname Dumbo and the mama elephant defends the baby and gets taken away which is pretty much the one thing about the movie that follows the original, that, that all happens within like the first 45 minutes of the movie and then the rest of it is pretty much just a whole new story and everything. Uh, after they discover that Dumbo can fly and everything, a big, a big wig uh, named V.A. Vandever uh, uh, bought pretty much offers to buy out the circus and everything and let them come to this like amusement park that circus thing that he owns and everything and they end up going and everything but he's mainly interested in Dumbo he's not really interested in the rest of the acts and everything and he uh, they find out that he actually bought Dum uh, Dumbo's mom and everything and Dumbo's trying to get back to his mom and everything and not doing what he's supposed to be doing in the acts and um so they devise a plan to help Dumbo and his mom escape and get to get to be set free in the wild and it, it's a it's a really good movie um I, I was really surprised by how much I like this movie because the original animated one is one that I've always, well, I've always liked it and everything. I love it a lot more now as an adult than I did as a kid, but I've always liked the original one. But I, I wasn't that interested in seeing Tim Burton do a remake of this movie because of the, I didn't, the fact I wasn't really a huge fan of the Alice in Wonderland. I thought it was okay. And everything, but I didn't really want to see him do another live-action Disney remake. But this movie really surprised me, and uh, I really liked it a lot. Um, and the cast is all really good in this. Uh, Colin Farrell plays Holt Farrier, the the dad, and I'm not really a fan of Colin Farrell, uh, but I really did like him in this movie. I thought he did a really good job everything he's not he's just one of those actors I've never really been a big fan of I don't really hate him or anything but it was just it's just not one that I really like a lot but I thought he did a good job in this movie um, his kids uh, Millie is played by Nico Parker and she she does a really good job too I don't know why she looks really familiar I don't know if I've seen her in something else or maybe she just looks like reminds me of some of another kid, but I swear I've seen her in something before. And then Finley Hobbs is pretty good as Joe, the younger brother. Um, Michael Keaton plays V.A. Vendever, and he's pretty good too. He's like 
at first he's really likable and everything, but you can kind of tell there's something a little bit off about him. And as the movie progresses, we pretty much figure out that he's the villain of the movie and everything. But I thought he, he was pretty good. And Danny DeVito plays Max, who's like the ringling, uh, ringleader of the circus before they get bought out and everything. And uh, I really like him a lot in this movie, too. He, he has a much smaller role than I expected. He's more of a supporting role, but... I really did like him in it. I thought he was really good and everything. And it was cool getting to see him and Michael Keaton reunited in a Tim Burton movie after Batman Returns. So I thought that was pretty cool too. And Eva Green plays Colette, who is the trapeze artist that works with Vendever. And I think that he that she is really good. Um, I really liked her character and everything. And she, uh, she just does a really good job and everything um and i thought i was kind of thinking maybe she's going to be a villain or something but she's actually a really really likable character and everything so that kind of took me off by surprise too for some reason i guess because i'm the main movie i've really seen of her quite a bit in was uh dark shadows i've seen that movie quite a few times and she's really unlikable in that movie and for some reason, I guess, I always associate her with that character and everything. But, and then you got Dumbo, who is this little baby elephant. He's just absolutely adorable and everything. And I gotta say, the CGI on Dumbo and his mom were both really, really good. They, they look like real elephants and everything. And there was something also that amazed me about this movie is... Dumbo is CGI and everything, but he still has all the facial expressions and emotions that you would have expected from the cartoon, something that The Lion King couldn't do. I want to know why the heck a movie like this could have that and everything, and it still work perfectly, but a movie like The Lion King, which obviously had a huger budget and all that, couldn't do that and everything. That just really surprised me on that. But, um, I also love that there's not a lot of CGI besides Dumbo and some some of the animals that are at the circus and stuff that they really keep this, the CGI to a minimum, which I like that a lot because I love when Tim Burton does practical effects and everything. So I loved, like, all the sets and stuff for the circus and stuff. I thought that was awesome. And I loved Casey Jr., um, the train. He looked just like it did in the cartoon, pretty much. Uh, it was just really, really cool. I love that about it, too, the way they did that and everything. But uh, this is easily one of the biggest surprises of the year for me because I was not expecting to like Dumbo near as much as I did because I, I thought it was just going to be a soulless remake cash grab like they did with The Lion King. It had no no heart or anything, but th this movie had a lot of heart, uh, great performances from a good cast and everything, and Dumbo was just absolutely adorable and everything, he's so cute, but, uh, yeah, so I I'd give it a 9 out of 10, because I absolutely love this movie, I think it's a, a great movie, and it's definitely one that I would recommend to Disney fans and everything if and if you like the original I think you'll like this one too and everything because it it keeps the heart of the original but it, it changes it enough where it feels like it's a its own movie at the same time so it, it works it works out really well and it's easily one of the most surprising movies of the year for me because I, I, I did not expect to like this as much as I did and everything so yeah but Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the new Dumbo movie. Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, I know I'm a little bit late to the party because I didn't see this when it was in the theater and everything. I kind of regret that now, but uh, let me know what you think of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.